yo yo what is going on guys it is the dfs shark we are back with another day there is no nba today right no nba there's a bunch of games tomorrow and those are going to be the last games of the season so today's video is going to be all about mlb i'm going to be going over my top two mlb plays and then i'm going to give you my top five plays that i'm going to be bundling up with in a flex lineup but as always guys y'all watch these videos you like these breakdowns make sure you hit that like Hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can see these breakdown videos as soon as they drop. I'm dropping prize picks videos like this every single morning. And if you want my plays even sooner before these videos even come out, join the Discord. It is free to join. The link is in the description. I will also throw the link in the comment. But let's jump into yesterday's lineup and what happened there. So our top two plays, we got Jared Allen and Aiden. Aiden ended up getting... I think he got hurt he got pulled for that game but he was looking good on the under but jared allen man we were pretty much done from the beginning on this one i i've never seen him play like that he came out and just absolutely crushed in his first i think his first seven minutes of the game he already had nine points seven rebounds and like two or three assists so it was absolutely crazy i have this notification app where it sends a notification every time he gets one of those stats right and it was just bing and boom 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 absolutely going off so Nothing you can do there, man. He just had he just had a great game, man. That's what happens when you bet the unders. Sometimes that's gonna happen. If we go to the whole slip here, you see I had these two at the top. We had Clay Thompson, who was off to a slow start all game, and all of a sudden he heated up in that third, fourth quarter and hit that line. Joe Kick just couldn't get nothing going. Booker ended up hitting. So ultimately a losing lineup, man. But it's all part of the game. I sh always share the wins and losses on this channel. You're going to get the win just like we had a 10x couple of nights ago, right? We've had multiple wins and we've had losses as well. So this is reality. You're not going to win every single lineup. Some lineups are going to get absolutely crushed. Some lineups are going to absolutely kill it. This is the way it rolls. But if y'all guys are looking to get started on prize picks, drop in this promo code here. They're going to match you up to a 100% match deposit bonus. And if you're looking to get started on Chalkboard, another great alternative to prize picks and underdog. Drop in that code SHARK. They have a bunch of discounted lines every day, and they're also on Droid now for y'all Droid users who've been waiting. So if we slide over here to the Discord, you can see I've already posted the play I'm about to go over. This is where I post all of my free plays every single day. And for this video, I only do this on certain videos, so if you're able to watch and catch this, shoot me a message for this video. So if you're watching and you're in the Discord, shoot me the basketball emoji, and I'm going to set you up for a free week of the premium plays. That's all you got to do to shoot me the basketball emoji. I'm going to set you up. Um, if you want to learn more about the free plays before you get in there, you can go to the DFSShark.com. Learn more about it here, what that consists of. But I'm going to hook you all up with a free week for showing support and helping me grow this channel. We are coming up on 3,000 subscribers now, so I appreciate y'all. Like I said, drop me that basketball emoji in the Discord, and I will get back to you, and I'll set you up in the premium for a week so you can get these MLB lineups that I put out today, and then we can finish off the NBA season and even get in some playoff plays as well. But let's dive into today's plays, what the optimizer is liking. All right, let's hit that refresh on the optimizer here. We got it optimized by just MLB. That's all we're looking at today as there's no NBA. So the top play they got on here is Alec Marsh, under five strikeouts. You can see all the odds makers have them at four and a half. So you're getting pretty good odds on the five here. Uh, Schwarber over 1.5 on the hrr hits runs rbis and then you got jesse winker under a walk here jesse winker is actually one of our plays it's not this line but i am on jesse winker and i'm gonna go over that and play here in a just a bit but if you're looking for a tool that can pull all the top odds all the top plays without you even having to do research if you don't want to right i'd, I'd go i dive in and do research and take things a step further but you don't have to right you can just play the top plays and go with the odds Daily Grind is the best spot for that. Drop in that code SHARK. They're going to hook you up for 25% off your first month here. Take advantage of that discount. But let's dive into the plays for today. Let's dive into my top two, who I'm going to be rolling with my double. And then I'll get into my top five after that. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, if you're not on Price Picks, or even if you are, don't forget about this discount right here. This is tonight's fight. Not even sure how to say that versus Max Holloway. Um, I'm not a, I don't really watch MMA too much. I'm a big boxing guy. So if any of y'all watch boxing that Haney Garcia coming up, let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. I got Haney winning that, but I expect it to be a close one. So we'll see what happens, but let's jump back into MLB. So my top play is going to be Wilson Contreras. I'm going HRR over here on Wilson Contreras, 
right? We're going to be going over. They got a matchup against Arizona. So let's dive into this play here. So first of all, let's go to the projected lineups. So the thing with putting these lineups in early is um, there's a chance he might sit, right? He might not even have playing. That's the thing with putting them in early. You could wait till game time, uh, but I like just take doing everything early so I can really take my time with things. But the projected lineup has Wilson Contreras coming in right here at the five hole, right behind Arenado. So he's got a chance for plenty of runners, plenty of people to be on base for him when he comes up to bat. So let's dive into Contreras here. Let's go into his last five. You can see he's been hitting really well lately. 80% on this line. He's averaging 2.2 HRR right now per game. If you go to his last 10, he's right at 50%. His last 20 at 60%. This is going into last season, right? If you go to his head-to-head, -head, he has a good history against the Diamondbacks. He's hit five out of six against the Diamondbacks on this line, so he hits really well against them. Um, and he's got an at least one in every single one of those games, right? He had a run here, so... If we go to the year, he's hit this line at 56% of the time. He's averaging 1.89. He's going up against Ryan Nelson here. You can see for 2023, he really struggled. Earned runs per nine, letting up 5.31 runs per nine innings. He pitched 144 innings. Strikeouts pretty not per nine is on the low side at six. Right, walks plus hits per inning pitched, 1.42. Remember with this line, even if Contreras gets walked, he gets hit by a pitch, we still got a chance to get a run here. So that's the thing I like about this HRR line. Even if they get walked, you still have a chance for them to get droving in. So diving in here, he's getting about four plate appearances a game. Cardinals are going to hit the ball well. And you can see here he's averaging 0 0.8, 0 0.7, and 0.4 on the RBIs. If we slide down here to, if we're going to, his 2023. Against righties, he's hitting about 253, 81 hits, um, 39 runs, and 44 RBIs. But you can see Ryan Nelson just kind of struggles here. That ERA is still in the fives. His batting average against batters he's faced is right around 276, 284, giving up a good amount of hits, right? So he's not somebody who's going to ultimately come in and just dominate. The Cardinals should be getting good at bats, and they should be getting on base against him. So if we slide down to the pitch arsenal here, you can see Nelson throws mainly fastballs at 54%. He mixes in some cutters, change up the sliders for about even matchup there, but he's mainly throwing a lot of fastballs. And if we look at Contreras against these pitch types, right, his weighted o OBA is 358, so which is super solid, right? So 320 is about the league average, so anything above, you know, 330, 340, anything above 350 is really good, right? So if we go into his fastballs, he's at about 338 against fastballs, which is pretty solid. His K rate is a little high for me. I would like that to be a little lower, but I'm liking that weighted OPA. And against cutters, he's a really good, um, he hits cutters really well. You can see he's 412 here. So change ups, 459, sliders. And the pitch he struggles with the most is curveballs, but this is the pitch that Nelson throws the least at 5%. So a good matchup here with Contreras. I'm liking this play here. And another thing you want to look at when it comes to HRR is it's not just the player you're putting the bet on, right? You got the other players in the lineup. So if we go to the Cardinals here versus him, not a lot of at-bats versus him, but the players that have batted, have done good in the few at bats that they have like Arenado here three at bats and he hit a home run um same with Goldschmidt he had three at bats and he hit a home run here Donovan here is hitting 667 new bar looks like he had one at bat got a hit and Walker here 333 so like I said not a lot of plate appearances but it's good to see all these greens um because these are all the players that are hitting before and before and after Contreras so if they can get on base all Contreras needs to do is just drive him in on RBI and then we'll hit this line. Or if Contreras gets walked, hit by a pitch, whatever, these guys can come through and drive him in for us. So I'm liking Contreras here on this line. If you go to the odds makers, DraftKings has him at a minus 135. BetMGM minus 135 as well. If we go to his projections here. If you add all these up, hits, runs, RBIs, you got about two. So Rotowire has him going above this line, which is pretty solid. And for our next play, we're going to be going Jesse Winker here. So Winker has been having a solid year, man. He's been he's been playing really solid. So I feel like we're getting really good value on this line here 
at 0.5 total basis. So all he needs is a hit, man. Just a single basically. We're going to hit this line with Winker. So if we go to the projected lineups here. I'm not sure why this is red. Hopefully there's no kind of weather issues here. But Jesse Winker's been in that three hole here. He's projected lineup in the three hole. Jesse Winker has had a solid year up to this point, right? If we click on him real quick and you can just see his, his stats for the year. He's hitting 361, one home run, three RBIs, seven runs one stolen base All right so you know obviously i don't expect him to keep hitting over three i don't think he'll even hit 300 for the year but one of those things in baseball though when you're hot man things are just going to go in your favor right you're going to just get somehow get a lot more hits to fall through you're going to make a lot more solid contact baseball is as much as it's a physical game it's also a mental game right and if hitters are not hitting that can really get to some hitters and they're in their head at bats and that's really the work one of the worst things that could happen so you can see with the upside with weaker here the way he's been hitting the ball last 10 he's at 60 percent last 20 is going back into like last season right he's at 55 percent head to head this was the last game against oakland for the year he's hit this line at 64 percent of the time averaging 1.73 total base a game so boyle here younger pitcher Dude's a giant too. He's like six seven, six eight on the mound. <laughs> but um he had one good performance this year. If you go to him right here, he had let's go to his year, right? So he had he got absolutely tore up by Boston here. Seven earned runs, and he came back against Detroit and let up zero earned runs. Right, but as far as K's for the year, four and six. So he's kind of just right there. But as far as hits allowed. He let up eight hits his first game and then two his second game. So he's kind of been both ways so far this season, right? He's gone back and forth. But I'm liking Winker here, left-handed batter, going up against Boyle, who's a right-handed pitcher here. You see, he's getting plenty of plate appearances. Looking at last year's stats, like I said, he the last couple of years, he's kind of been struggling, man. His average is not it's in the low 200, which is not good. Um, coming into the league, he was above a 250-plus hitter. But he's been struggling all of last year pretty much but seems like he's getting back into form early this year which is what we're gonna ride we're gonna ride the hot hand on this play i mean boyle didn't really have a lot of a lot going on last year right he didn't really pitch too many games um i think he came in at the later end of the year only pitched like three or four games in total so not a lot to go off of but for last year he pitched about for last year's arsenal he threw mainly fastball 58 percent on the fastball 31% on the slider. So he's mainly throwing these two pitches, right? And if you go to Winker here against these pitches, that K rate is a little high. This weighted o OBA is not very good at 269, right? But if we go to the fastballs here, he is a solid fastball hitter. You can see he jumps up to 319, and that's mainly what Boyle is going to throw 58% of the time. Against the slider, he struggles. Against the cutter, um, he's pretty decent, but he hardly throws that, at least last year. And the curveball, he was struggling. Think of Winker can get in a good count here. He can get a solid fastball to hit. He can find one to drive. I think we'll be good to go there. But with total bases, it doesn't really matter what the rest of the team does as much because it's all dependent on Jesse Winker, right? Um, if he gets walked or a strikeout, we're not going to get a total base there. So we need him to get a hit. That's all we need is Winker to get a hit there. And let's go to the projections here. They have Winker at about 0 0.9 hits. They have him just under a hit there. But yeah, these are going to be my top two plays for the day on baseball. We got Contreras and we got Winker. All right, so let's dive into my next five plays. I'm going to be throwing these in a double, and then I'm going to be throwing these five plays with the flex play that's tried to hit a 10x here. So we're going Alec Baum here. I'm going over on strikeouts, man. He is a solid hitter, solid young hitter, but he does strike out a lot. Um, and you can see by this season, he's been striking out multiple times per game. He even had a three strikeout game here. Last couple of games, he's had a couple of strikeouts as he's not been able to put the bat on the ball recently. So we're going to keep riding that riding that wave. Hopefully they keep attacking him the way they've been pitching him um, to get us one more strikeout for tonight's game. And then another player we're going to go is Patrick Bailey. Last time I was on Bailey, I had this same line, total bases. They played the Dodgers, and he dropped a bomb on uh, Glass now. But Bailey's a solid hitter, man. He's he's not the best hitter, right? But he can come through in a good matchup, and he does have a good matchup. I can't remember who they're playing or who they're facing exactly on the mound. Um, but I did do all the same research on these plays as I did those first two. I just don't want to go over these as in-depth because the video is going to be too long. 
but Bailey's a solid play here on the total basis over here. We're going to target another player who hasn't been who has been striking out a lot recently, right? We're going to go with McCarthy here on the um, Diamondbacks. You can see he struck out three of his last five games here. Um, for this season, he struck out like 70% of the time. He's got a plus matchup here. But these are my five, man. This is what I'm going to be rolling with, right? We got Contreras over 1.5 HRR. We got Winker over total bases. We got Baum getting in a strikeout here. Bailey over total bases. And then we got McCarthy getting a strikeout here as well. And like I said, with baseball, these players might get rolled out. They might end up being in, in the starting lineup. So we may end up only having four out of five of these guys, three out of five of these guys come game time. So just something to be aware of if you never really played baseball. That's something that happens all the time. So be checking your lineups throughout the day. Go to Google and put in Rotowire projected lineups. And this will pop up and you can kind of see what's been confirmed. When it is confirmed, the lineup, this will turn green right here. And you'll see confirmed lineup. So you'll know if your player's in the lineup or not. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the breakdown. I'm looking forward to diving deep into the MLB season. MLB is driven by a lot of like analytics, stats, pitch types, ERAs, you know, all these different analytics, which is where I really dive deep because I take all these different stats, these analytics, and I throw it into my spreadsheet and I kind of just work the numbers from there. But yeah, as the as basketball season comes to an end, MLB season starting, you want somebody to dive into these plays and give you some deep analysis. That's what I'm going to be doing every single video. So make sure you drop a like. Hit that subscribe if you aren't subscribed. I appreciate everyone who's been rocking with me from the beginning. We should be hitting 3,000 any day soon. Hopefully today. If not today, we should be hitting it tomorrow. So I appreciate y'all. That's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope y'all have a great rest of the day. Take care.